All right, now we are going in details from our three triangles, which are the equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, as well as the right angled triangle. What are the main properties that are building up our properties? Look at the sides. There are something distinctive about the equilateral triangle on its sides. I will come to it. What about the angles? Something distinctive about it. You get the sides as well as in, in a isosceles triangle. You get angles as well as in a, in a land circle. You get, in other words, there are two things that we focus on the sides. When you say this is an isosceles triangle, what do you say about its side? What is, what is the property of its side? What about the angles? Talk about right angle triangles. What do you say about its sides? What do you say about its uh, angles? So now I'm going to go triangle by triangle, distinct, uh, distinctifying that. After that, there will be a common theorem that will combine them together as we are moving on. That will make them uh, similar in terms of the approach when you are going to calculate the unknown angles from forward. But now we are still focusing on the principles of their properties that govern, that makes them different from the other ones, that make you to say this is an equilateral triangle, this is an isosceles triangle, this is a right angle triangle. We are focusing on that one. And what are we looking at when you're looking at their properties? You're focusing on their angles as well as their sides. Let's come to our friend here, equilateral triangle. I want to start from the word equal. Lateral. It's self-explanatory. What do we know about it? I know you know the there at home there. When you're talking about it because you've learned this in grade 8, there are three sides are equal in length. Three sides are equal in length. Some people when they are in a hurry, when they are doing meds, three sides are equal. That's still correct. But remember in meds there's also principle. Three sides are equal in length. When you say three sides are equal, I don't know whether you mean the side or the angles. So you you actually use the correct language of meds. You say three sides are equal in length. Are you done about isosceles triangle? About equal triangle? There's other texts that you, I've seen. The ones you see, this it means three of the sides are equal. It talks to you. Even if it has never said to you this is an equal triangle, once you see those texts there, it shows that three sides are equal. Or three sides are equal in length. And that makes you to remember it quickly is equal from the word equal triangle. Now we are done with the size now. Let's come to the angles now. What do you know about the angles of an equal triangle side? We have got our angles. How many angles are there? One, two, three. What do we know about them? We said all three angles are equal in size. All three angles are equal in size. Just, just say all angles are equal in size. What size they fall under will be acute because none of them is above what? 90 degrees. They are all less than 90. So they fall under acute angle and covered. Three. We said all three angles are equal. Remember when you do math in size. You go slowly and then you master in size. All three angles are equal in size. Very, very important. Their lens. Very, very important. All angles are equal. How? By size. Another thing that is very, very important that you're going to talk about, which is now coming in, is going to link on. The interior angles of the of the sum of the interior angles here are equal to 180. The sum of the interior angle, meaning total 
interior angles are equal to 180 degrees. Wonderful. Some of the interior angles are... Let's check them. Let's take it now. 16 plus 60 plus 60 is equal to 180 degrees. If we have got A, B, C, what do we say? We said A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. So this is basically what we have talked about. Equilateral triangle. Three sides are equal in length. Very, very important. I know you always seen that those course very great A. Now, when it comes to angles, what do we know about angles? All three angles are equal in size. And if you can see, the angles there, none of the angle is above 90 degrees. mean they are acute angled, like we have seen from our, our previous clip. And then, one thing that is very, very important, I'm going to put a star here because it's going to fall part of the theorem, the proven fact that the sum of the interior angles are equal to 180 degrees. Now we are done with the equilateral triangle about the sides as well as the angles. Now we are going to an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle when we talk about their sides. What do we know about the sides? Only two sides are equal. Only two sides are equal. Let's go back there and check. Look at the text there. It means this side is equal to the other one. Now, let's come to angles. Very, very important. Very, very important there. What do we know about that? We have got the, the angles inside B and angles inside C. We say the two interior angles two interior base angles are equal. Who are they? We've got angle B is equal to angle C. That is there. That's what we, we, we learn about there. Again here, if these two angles are equal, there's another one that is there. Also, that angle, we must know how much it is. By the time we are calculating the, 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 the unknown angle. <coughs> but what we must know, again, which is distinctive, I'm going to put an asterisk. The sum of the interior angles here are equal to 180 again. That is similar now to equilateral triangle. The sum, that will be proven as a fact in terms of its theorem. The sum of the interior angles. The sum of the interior angles. Are equal to 180 degrees. Now, what can we say again? A plus B plus C will give us 180. A plus B plus C will give us 180. Meaning, when you see those caps there on top there, if you can see, I'm putting the caps on top here. It shows that you are talking about the angles specifically. Here they are. They're equal to 180. Let's come back again once again to our triangle. Only two sides are equal. Which are they? The one that I've shown on the text. What do we know about now? We are done with the sides. We have got two interior angles that are equal to each other. That are base, which is B, the angle, and C, the angle. Other thing that is distinctively that... It's giving us an important clue as we are moving forward. It's the sum of the interior angles that are equal to 180, which is now that property is similar to the one for, for equilateral triangle. I hope you are noting that. Now, let's come to the other one that is most interesting one. Remember, in my case, I don't, we, don't, we don't have difficult maths. We have got challenging maths, but an interesting math. Now, let's talk about the sides in a, 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 a right-angled triangle. Just to get A, C. When you talk about the size there, we have got the longest side. The longest side of the right angle triangle. 
is called hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. The longest, that longest side there is called hypotenuse. H Y P. Very interesting. That's why you call it AC. AC. That AC there is called hypotenuse. The longest side of the right angle triangle. We're not talking about the, the other sides. Another thing that you must know to talk about the sides of the uh, 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 the sides of the uh, uh, right angle triangle. Two sides squared. When we are proving the Pythagoras theorem, they'll give us what? They'll give us the hypotenuse. But now we are not that much interested. We are only knowing that the longest side there will give us the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. When you are proving the Pythagoras theorem, we'll talk about the two sides in details. Let's come to the angle here. Angles. Something interesting about this angle. How do we know about them? One angle is a right angle triangle. One angle is exactly 90 degrees, which is that angle in this case is B is equal to 90 degree degrees. Very interesting. And then I want you to highlight the, another thing because we are remember we are connecting mass with the long chain. The immediately there is a 90 degrees. You have the opposite of all the time when you want to master an entity degree because you're going to have protonyms uh, and then we are going to uh, uh, Pythagoras theorem. You must know that immediately there is a 90 degrees opposite of 90 degrees. It's your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. That's how you master uh, when we come to Pythagoras. But now it's not that much important. But remember, I must not hide talking about this fact. I'll give you the facts as they are so that you get used to that. Now, one angle is exactly 90 Decrease which angle is that is angle B. What do we know again, which is very important and makes it again a, a, a common element of commonality? The sum of the interior angles. Sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. If this one is 90, these other two when we Add them together, that 90 must give us 180. Very, very important. Now, let me go back and now and remember. Let's identify the element of similarity here. The element of similarity is that the interior angles of these triangles equal to 180. That is a theorem that we have identified. That is a fact that we have seen. The interior angles of a triangle, which are the triangles, any triangle, including these ones, is equal to 180. The interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180. We'll come to those uh, 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 theorems. That is what we have known. What about the sides? Like I said, the side is distinctive. What about the sides in in, in equilateral? Three sides are equal in length. In length. What about the sides in a isosceles triangle? Only two sides are equal. Equal. What about the sides in a, in a right angle? There is a longest side which is called an hypotenuse. The two other sides, I will talk about them when we are talking about Pythagoras theorem, theorem in detail, but there are two sides, they add up to the longer, longest side when they are squared, when you talk about the Pythagoras theorem. Another thing that is very distinctive about it, the right angle triangles, one of the angles has got uh, 90 degree, 90 degrees, and then one of the similarities which we have drawn there when it's the angle, the sum of the interior angles are equal to 180. Thank you very much. These are the... the properties of the triangles distinctive that makes them different from the other one in terms of their signs or the angle now we are going to look at the theorems behind these triangles thank you very much